use global tap button as global meters pre. So on the Pro 2 surface, there's this global tap button over underneath the solo side. And what that does is attach to an effect unit that you tick to control the milliseconds of delay that you're gonna tap out on the top of the screen. Now what you can do by ticking this button, and this is a great function for broadcast or someone that needs to bring in audio and they need to see metering before they bring the audio up. That now switches it to global meter pre, and when I pull these left and right faders down, I'll still be able to read my output on those and just slowly push them in and the fader control will not affect the output going to that section. So I can either choose this to be a regular global tap tempo button or use it for global meters pre on my outputs. I can also choose to flash the global tap button continuously. That way I can always look over and have a continuous visual of what the tempo is to my unit that I've selected in my effects rack. Also, it goes hand in hand with the milliseconds that are displayed at the top of the page with my tap tempo. The last button in the user interface section here is collapse flip. This one's a really cool function as well, especially for guys that are mixing the same thing over and over. When you have a band member that only asks for a certain amount of things in their mix, whether it's their in-ear monitoring or their wedge mix, what you can do is go to that individual channel or that individual mix and have a collapsed version of what is turned on to that mix. So in layman's terms, if the bass player asks for kick drum, snare, his bass guitar, and his vocal, and that's it. I can go to the kick drum channel, channel, turn on the kick drum to be sent to his contribution for his auxiliary, go to the snare and do the same, and go to his bass guitar, turn that on to his mix, and then go to his vocal and just turn that on to his mix and leave everything off in the input list except for those four things. When I go to their mix and select it, that will populate or spill in a collapse flip mode. Now if I need to add something to his mix, so during the middle of the show he turns around and he asks for the guitar on the other side of the stage, all I have to do is go to the guitar channel, press and hold, unflip from his mix and then select it again and that will give me a spill of his collapse flip mode. This is great for things that you always go to continuously. If not, uh, untick this box and it will not give you that spill group. You'll be able to insert anything or turn on the entire mix across the console. The next box down is navigation mode. That goes hand in hand with the advanced channel navigation and the advanced mix bay navigation buttons on the console. Default, it comes in normal front of house mode. This only allows you to get to the flip to effects function of the console. Flip to effects allows you to pull up the effects unit that you select that is on the auxiliary that you select as well to get to the parameters of that effect without navigating to your effects screen. The next mode on this is normal monitors mode. If I tick this, this allows me to get to flip to faders. So if I have contributions to monitor wedges or in-ear mixes, I can now do sins on fader from the input level as well. This gets me to flip to fader, flip to effects, and that is it. Advanced navigation mode opens up the ability to get to the GQ, which places any third octave onto the VCA faders. So if I select left in GQ, this now is my bandwidth of the left and right mixed that I've dropped in from earlier, 125. Now I have control of my EQ on the left right on the faders of the VCA. Once I leave that, it goes back to being my VCAs. This also gives me access to an option that is only on Midas Pro Series consoles, and that is Multiple Contribution Association, or MCA mode. As a monitor engineer, they were never able to use the VCA section of the console because those were just contributions directly to your left and right. Now, with MCA mode, and especially with in-ear monitoring, a lot of artists ask for a mix of everything. 
So if I set up my monitor console as a front of house guy, I would have VCAs with multiple things being controlled on one fader. Like this is my kick snare hat group. So now I can use MCA mode to send to an auxiliary send or a matrixy from here. This is great for stem mixing. This is great for monitor guys who are dealing with people on in-ear mixes. That way I have a nice mix of everything that's in my input list on my VCAs and I can mix two contributions of my monitor from MCA mode. This navigation mode saves to your show file. So if you take your show file and put it onto another console, if you built it in normal front of house mode, you would have to resave it to get to any other monitor mode or the advanced navigation mode.